All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to invite Chip MusicBot to your Discord server, play some awesome music for you and your friends, and just have a good time with it. So if you're not familiar, ChipBot is a pretty robust music bot that has a bunch of different commands that you can use, some cool sound effects that you can pay premium to get, and it also lets you invite up to four different versions of itself to your server, so that if you have a big server, you can have it in multiple channels, so that multiple different groups of people can listen to all sorts of different kinds of music. Uh, and it looks like the beta version also lets you beta test certain features before they go live to the rest of the community. Uh, the other thing that's worth noting before we get started is that in the wake of GroovyBot and Rhythm MusicBot getting taken down by YouTube, they've actually gone ahead and removed YouTube support from their bot so that YouTube can't take them down. Um, that's great because the bot won't go anywhere, although you're going to have to see what kind of music is available from the other platforms that they support but the good news is they've got a built-in search feature that makes it super easy to find all of your music so you're not left wondering where everything is. So to get started, I'm gonna click on the Invite Chip and Start Listening button, and that's gonna take us to the authorization screen. If you haven't invited a bot to your server before or it's been a while, you might be prompted to log into Discord. Don't freak out. Just log in and then it'll ask you what server you want to invite the bot to. In my case, I've got a few servers that I can invite it to, but I'm going to invite it to the test server. I'm going to click continue, and then the only permission that Chip wants is administrator permissions. Generally, that's not a big deal. Um, if you want to restrict the bot from having access to certain channels to kind of control what channels people have the ability to talk to the bot in, you could deny it administrator powers. But for the most part, I tend to lean on the side of caution and let bots have the permissions that they need to function. So I'm just going to click Authorize, prove I'm not an evil robot from space, and then we are good to go to get started. So once that's done, you can see that Chip is now inside of our server here. It's been welcomed to the server, and it's in the sidebar. And then all we need to do is A, pop into a voice channel so that it can actually join us there, and then go to our music bot control channel, and you're ready to start working with it, you can just type in CH exclamation mark help, and that will pop up in a little window that gives you an idea of what some of the basic commands are. At the top, you've got some just like the most basic ones, play, skip, fast forward, start, stop, pause, resume, all of those things. You can remove songs, remove duplicate songs. Chip Premium lets you do some sort of sound effects, like make it talk like a demon or you can add a Nightcore filter, all of those good things. But what we want is, let's do um, the search feature for no copyright sounds. And then that'll give me a little selection of different tracks that we can play. And I think I'll just respond with number one to play that. And then from here, it'll pop into the server, as you can hear, and just start playing whatever song it was that we queued up. And then you can click on these buttons here to control the bot or just use the different commands that I highlighted. So let's just keep searching for some more music. We'll just search for NCS because that's just the abbreviation for no copyright sounds. And then let's just add number two to the, to the queue. And then let's search that again. And then we'll add 10. And then that's now queued, and now we can at any time check out the queue by just typing in queue. And then it tells us that currently we're now playing this long name right here, followed by Heart of Fire, and then NCS Dream. Now we can also remove one of those tracks from the list. And now if I type in the queue, It'll only be the NCS Dream, which is good. So you can pretty easily just jump in, control the bot with a lot of really standard controls that most of these bots have. It's basically like the music player that you have on your home computer or on your phone. Super duper easy to use. And then yeah, you can just chill out and relax with your friends and enjoy some great music. It's honestly really easy to use. Uh, what else is good for different 
controls for us to use. So we can try out the fix command. Let's see what that does. Oh, so <laughs> if I typed in fix, it forcibly obliterated uh, whatever was being played, reset the bot so that we can try using it again. All right, that's not quite what I was expecting, but it's good that it has the option to reset everything if something's going wrong. So let's just search for NCS again, and then I'll just let it play number 10. So that's kind of nifty. We can move it to a different channel. We can replay the current song. We can also put on a loop, I believe. Let's just do that. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So in order to get you to vote for this bot to increase their likelihood of being seen by people, to unlock the loop command, you have to vote for the bot on top.gg. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the bot is free. It makes sense that some features will be locked away unless you do things like vote for them. All right, that's not bad. So what else have we got for abilities? Most of the other stuff is pretty standard and straightforward. Um, the other stuff that you'd really like is either administrative or it's just something that you get when you pay for premium, like all of those different sound effects, which is kind of neat. So, I mean, I like the fact that it doesn't run off of YouTube because that's become kind of an issue lately. So if you want a bot that's more likely to stick around and be cease and desist proof, Chipbot is a great option for you. It's got all the great commands that you've come to expect from a music bot. Uh, so if you're looking for a good high quality bot that has a lot of great features, you can invite up to four different versions of it to your server, then try out Chipbot. It's a pretty good bot, easy to use, easy to search for music to listen to, and they're constantly looking to add new features. So I think it's definitely worth a look. This has been a brief guide on how to invite it to your server and how to play music. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all the links to this bot and all the pertinent stuff is in the video description. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to do the likey, subscribe thing, and bye.